Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are back with more Code Geass. I will be watching episodes number 15 and 16 of season 2. Last time around we had phenomenal two episodes as always and once again rest in peace to Shirley. That was very tragic, one of the purest characters just like Yuffie was uh, completely, I can say out of the blue because the episode started with all the masks falling, right, metaphor for Shirley being surrounded by lies, right, from POV, it was like the whole world was deceiving her, man, and she attempted to uh, end her own life by jumping off that building, but Suzuko and Lelouch saved her, Lelouch, like, poured some new hope inside of her heart, but it still ended tragically because she met Rollo, and she was telling him how she is on Lelouch's side and that she wants best for his little sister Nanali, right? And that was the moment when Rolo was like, okay, she knows about Nanali, I have to off her. And before that, when she said that she wants to help Lelouch, he was still a little bit jealous, right? So that goes to show you how Rolo feels about Lelouch as well. He's quite selfish, he wants himself to be the only person close to Lelouch, which, to be honest, kinda puts Nanali in danger as well, especially because Rolo is still around, and, uh, I mean, props to Lelouch for keeping a straight face when some of his closest friends, lovers or whatever you want to call Shirley, died, man, and he was crying for when Rolo came there, he was smiling and saying, good job, Rolo, right? He still wants to keep uh, keep him in the dark and keep using him. So, yeah, that's also kind of scary because Rolo straight up might go for Nanali, man. I'm so worried about that potential. Jeremia, I mean, I've talked about him in previous video. I was so surprised how far that came, character came and from being one of the most annoying and characters that I didn't like at all, he's now one of the best, man. What a journey for him, bro. To think that he was loyal to Lady Marianne and when he found out what Lelouch's intentions are, he immediately puts Lelouch in first place, man. And he hated Zero so bad, he wanted his head so bad, man. That was honestly incredible. Uh, Lelouch is super pissed, like, he wants to, to delete the gears off the face of this planet, man. He has had enough. Too many of uh, innocent people died and he's trying to end this. He was fighting V2. V2 fucker survived. But that conversation with Charles, Emperor Charles at the end was very sus. Uh, I guess he was saying, oh, Lelouch is zero. And he was talking about Nanolids because they found that they that Lelouch has his memories back, right? They already knew that info, that he was zero, but that was a little bit confusing to me, but it was cleared up by you guys, and yeah, the way Charles was speaking to him, it's like, he doesn't, like, need him anymore. I was getting that vibe, so I'm really interested about that. And Lelouch is now in that place, that, like, temple floating place up in the clouds and his father was mentioning like atonement and that he is finally here and Lelouch is clearly upset so I can't wait to see what did they prepare for us next time so uh, without further ado let's start episode number 15 let's go guys okay guys everything is ready let's start <laughs> かつて近くて8年前に殺された母の仇を打ち妹ナナリーが幸せに過ごせる世界を作ることそのために彼はなぞの少女シーツから力を手に入れた。いや、we what will he end up gaining and losing? Yeah, we need to wipe off this fucking cult. It caused enough suffering, man. Bro, 
That was an incredible opening, man. This one can actually rival the first one. Finally, here we go, guys. This is huge. Oh, he's very emotional. But don't you ask me using that power? Yeah, clearly. Be careful. And we know that he can delete memories. Oh shit. Yeah. A massacre indeed. Oh Jeremiah. I will decide to respect you. Man. Jeremiah's character became so fucking good. No way that he's gonna do it. <laughs> Wait, did he block it? What LaRouche attempted was so fucking insane. Playing with mirrors now when <laughs> he brings out a fucking gun, bro. Wait, did he? It's not him. That's not real him. Or he has some power. Lelouch, what the fuck? You're smarter than that. Look at he's generally... He generally thinks that it's over. Hey, so that means that his Gia's ability reached him through the mirrors, through the reflection. And he's trying to force forcefully find out info to refrain, which is bothering me so fucking much, man. I really hate this shit. Suzuku became such a disgusting dude, man. Even though I understand what he's trying to do. Wow, okay. I respect that as well. Look at V2. V2 looks like he's on death's door, man. Are they supposed to be immortal? The world with, with lies, we will not lie. Charles is older brother. I'm really having hard time believing that it's over. Obviously. I wouldn't be surprised if he has multiple Gears powers. He's fighting a literal god, man. This is scary. This is generally scary. He has the symbol on his fucking palm. What the fuck? What do you mean you, he took his code? Wait, wait, wait. And she took his... Is it... On her forehead, is that the code? King has it on the palm. And hence why V2 is going to die. And hence why King Charles was kinda looking down on V2 in previous episode. It makes sense. Wow, and God Gias, man. There we go. This is... Okay, we are going into some insane territory right now. I mean... Lelouch doesn't even know what the fuck is going on now. What is that, man? What are those weird masks? Okay. There is Violetta. 
Firetta. She's not gonna do it. Devo ore ni totte wa. Watashi wa Britannia no danshok. Tato e donda riyu ga aro to. Nippon de shinita katta. I wanted to die in Japan anyway. Koko ni kita no ka. Wow. Shinu toki gurai wa jibun de erabitai kara. Watashi wo korosu to yute datte aru hazu da. He's not even considering that. Because he fucking loves you. There we go. That's what he said. That might start to crack her. It's over. She's not gonna do it. She's hesitating. What the fuck, Sayoko? Okay, this is some insane shit right now. But even this this place. Wow, it's like the masks are pointing out his inner sealed feelings. You wear a mask. He's breaking him mentally. Is he keeping keep speaking so cryptic? Is that real Situ? There is no way. <laughs> no. If you if she was deceiving Lelouch all this time, I swear, bro. What the actual fuck? Come to kill a giver. So Lelouch is supposed to kill her? Oh, Char Charles. Damn, she wanted to die. Oh, to take her code just like Charles did with me too, right? You're too kind. <laughs> oh my god, bro. This is crazy. Holy shit. I've been wanting to know so long what's the deal with Situ and in the end it looks like she wants to die and she was trying to find a suitable person all this time, including Mao and all the other previous users. Disadvantages for the elements. My god, I love this. Nanali standing up for what she believes. And it's the same dream as you. Uh, even Arthur man is sensing that. Something is very, very messed up. Mm. Lush already set up the gears. He realized it. Dallas Research Lab. Oh, Schneisel! Schneisel! What are they talking about? Satellite area. Nanari 
And I doubt that Suzaku would put Nanali's life in danger just like that. <laughs> You're the same as my brother. So wait, it's like, not like some... It's definitely like their physical bodies being transferred there, right? Okay, <laughs> as I'm saying that, he like travels to the past or some shit. That's clearly an escaped slave. Her memory. Okay, he can't interfere because it's a memory. Wait. Oh my god. That's the Gias, right? Is this when she got it for the first time? She was like a normal human being. Yeah, she's a Kunoichi. Oh my god. He's falling down and she jumps with him, man. <laughs> Damn. Oh, watch out for the rock. Below. That was what she was seeking. What? This has to be so long, uh, long ago. Unable to tell apart true love. Because everyone loves her, right? And it's because of the powers, it's not genuine. Did Sito kill her? Oh my god, that face. And she's doing the same to Lelouch, Sito. Disappeared into the flow of time. Wait, what? Manipulated by thoughts. So that's not the elevator. Did he forced himself back in? He is wild. What is he doing? Bro, holy shit, man. She's not doing it. She's controlling the... The nightmare is destroying this place. It's because she actually loves Lelouch, right? It's because she feels that genuine bond, right? To be loved. Yeah, her true wish is to be genuinely loved, right? Not because of the power. And not to actually die. Oh, what the fuck did she create? I mean, one thing I'll give it to Nina is that she's clearly very intelligent. 
They're back. Wait. Did she lose her memories? Is she back to her old self when we saw her when she was with that collar around her leg? I said one time that Hot Gears is definitely one of the hardest shows to follow, man. Throughout the whole series, the pace is incredibly fast, man, and there is always so many things going on, man. But it's so fucking good. These pictures are so fucking awesome, man. They are using it again, just like in that uh, ending from before as well. I really love those pictures, man. But what the actual fuck? We are finally getting the lore about C2 that I craved so bad, man. So it looks like she wanted to die, right? Just like the previous Gears user, that sister that we saw before her, she found her. C2 was a slave. She was a regular human being, a little girl that was enslaved, and she somehow escaped. And this sister lady found her and gave her the Gears power. The contract uh, was for C2 to feel like love, that was her wish. So everyone loved her, right? Because of that power. That was the Gia's power that she had. And because of that, she found it hard to distinguish who actually loves her genuinely and who not. It, she was unable to tell. And nobody could like tell something bad about her, right? Because people that care for you will point out some bad things that you are doing and will give you helpful advice and scold you and whatnot. And only this sister was able to do that. And in that scene in church or whatever, she states her like wish to die because this internal life is a living hell and that she was using C2 all this time because she wanted to meet somebody that can end her life. And I guess at that point, C2 got the power. So, the vibe I was getting is that code is actually like that mark, that that is the code. And V2 lost that. It got transferred to Charles Palm. And because of that, I think that V2 doesn't possess any powers at all and that he's going to die. That's the vibe I was getting. And please correct me if I'm wrong, was Charles trying to take C2's code as well or something? And she resisted until the very end when Lelouch told her to at least die with, with smiling and that he's the one who is going to make sure that she smiles. And in that moment she felt like genuine feelings coming from Lelouch and it's something that she really wanted. That was her true wish, right? To genuinely uh, feel love from somebody that is not affected by, like, her Gia's power, right? That makes everyone loves her, or, or whatever. It was very confusing to me, but please guys tell me if I'm getting this right, man. That was an amazing episode, bro. So... Fucking Charles is immortal now. I don't know how will how will they wrap things up in this show, man. But I'm so curious to find out, man. We have one more episode, so let's go. And I wonder because she lost her memories now. Like, did she lose like her code? And it's because of that she's like a mortal being again. Yeah, both him and Lelouch. But what is that place, man, that they are in? Is it like another dimension? The knights are here. Wait, what is this? He brought C2 with him. <laughs> oh 
What the fuck? Jesus Christ. What is happening? Ah, Kavish is acting, man. Exactly. What is this song, though? Jesus. Yeah, it's Cornelia. He's seeking to destroy it. Just like she wanted to protect Yuffie. She should be able to understand that. This is some blood. Oh my god, Rolo will body you guys, be careful. <laughs> Deserved. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bro, that probably hurts a lot. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, that's not happening. That was deserved, though. United Federation of Nations. Oh, there she is. Oh, there is Shinke. He's moving fast now. Oh, yeah. She lived like centuries ago. This new technology is very weird to her, probably. And it's Millie on the screen. Ah, there is her toy, man. Please tell me that you brought her pizza, man. <laughs> I don't know if I'm satisfied with this conclusion for her character, though. Look at Millie. Oh, it's Anya. Not believing. ブラッドリー卿。ブラッドリー卿。ブラッドリー卿。ブラッドリー卿。ブラッドリー卿。ブラッドリー卿。ブラッドリー卿。ブラッドリー卿。ブラッドリー卿。ブラッドリー卿。
Vampire of Britannia. What does he mean by that? What does he mean by that? Okay, him being there, like, is helpful. New weapon for Lancelot. What the fuck are they talking about now? What are they trying to make Suzaku do? That's a deadly weapon. Might kill you. Oh my god. They're preparing some, for some big battle, man, obviously. Expedition measure uh, part of meeting rounds for the ratification ceremony. Worldwide broadcast. Okay, they're about to get attacked or something. In the end, game. <laughs> She's so adorable. <laughs> Yo, guys, this is some calm before the storm. <laughs> uh, she lost other man. Why do I have a feeling that they won't have a chance for that? There is just so many tragic fates in this show, man. And it's Millie. Ah, poor Revoils, bro. He's completely alone, bro. Everybody left. Oh, shit. Look at them. United Federation of Nations Supreme Council Chairman United States of Japan Representative Sumeragi Kaguya. Represent the right and independent military power. The Order of the Black Knights, CEO Zero, Commander in Chief. Lee Shinke, Secretary General Kaname Ogi, Chairman of the Joint Ch Chiefs of Staff, Todo Kyoshiro, Chief of Staff, uh, Zou. I'm gonna butcher this name. Shan Glin, Chief of Information and Media, Dithard Reed, Chief of Science, Lakshata uh, Chavla, First Squad Leader. Okay, these are some less known characters, I guess. But look at them, man. What a group.
我が合衆国日本の国土が危険を要請したいと考えますが賛成の方はご起立をわお Everyone stood up The liberation of Japan Holy shit Is it fi finally time? From where did he appear bro? Of course They hacked. Don't ブリタニアズアゲンスウォールド。So we are gonna get the biggest fucking war so far. Of course. Yeah, he's now worried for Nanari again. Exactly. He wouldn't give a shit. He's very worried. Oh my god, Lelouch. What? She has been cut. And it's not like she can recover and she's not immortal. She was probably beaten quite often. Jesus Christ! That is so sad. He's shaking. Friends. And after that conversation, he calls Suzaku, bro. Suzaku, Lulushi. ニュース知ってるよな。うん。これでエリア11はまた戦場になる。東京疎開も危ないから。それは。そうだ。俺が強いと。で、あ、it's time. Damn。You are my friend, right? <laughs> Holy shit. Yep. We are going that route. One condition. That was incredible. There is a bunch of things that I'm still confused about, man. But holy shit, this show is something something else, man. I love it so much that even in this state, C2 is still Lelouch's savior. When Lelouch was in a very desperate situation quite a lot of times in this series, when all hope seems lost, the one who pulled uh, a miracle for him 
is C2 always and even now without her memories just by having a conversation about what she does when she's hurt on the surface and what she does when she's hurting from inside and about how nice it is to have friends, right? And Lelouch is once again uh, saved by those words and he decides to call his best friend Suzaku to confess him that he is zero and to ask him to protect Nanali because he thought for some reason that Charles is dead and that he is stuck in that place or whatever. Uh, I had no doubt that Charles will get out of there even though uh, they started uh, uh, C2 like used Nightmare to start shooting and destroying that place. Uh, it would be very anticlimactic it, if that was the resolve to whole thought elevator sort of Akasha and Charles and all of that shit man uh, I'm still a little bit confused about the Kia's powers or should they say the code because it seems like code is what is like that mark and perhaps that's giving them immortality right and because Charles acquired that we saw those gunshots he's clearly motor he acquired the code so that's why V2 is I guess dead it looked like he was trying to take away something from C2 and I was thinking like code or her gear's power or whatever but she resisted after Lelouch's words but why did she lose memories though? like that's the thing I'm, I did not get man. okay uh, the war is about to be crazy man we have all the characters involved Area 11 is about to become a battle zone again and King Charles just took over that worldwide broadcast, right? And everyone in the world learned that uh, a world war is basically about to happen. Man. We met a new character, uh, Knight of Ten, right? that has a nickname Vampire. He seems like a pretty nasty dude. Uh, it, one scene that was so fucking like, depressing to me was seeing a rival sitting alone in the school though. We got a bunch of school uh, wholesome scenes man with all the characters involved with Lelouch, Millie, uh, Shirley, Arthur, Suzaku, Nanali and all the gang even Nina right and Sayoko and everyone bro. And just seeing him alone, right, with his friends being like leading these insane battles uh, or moving on with their lives like Millie and some of them are even dead, right, like Shirley and he just sits there alone. Bro. Holy shit, that was very depressing. But yeah, uh, the announcement was going very smoothly, so <laughs> we have quite a few episodes left so it was obvious that that announcement won't go smooth until the very end right and we are about to have a crazy battle uh loved the episodes uh absolutely love the new opening as well i will end the video here for today thank you for watching guys i hope that you enjoyed if you did please consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always check out my patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions I will be seeing you very soon with another video, until then, take care and have a nice day, see ya guys.